This is one of the most challenging reviews I have ever done. How can I talk about Avengers Endgame without giving away a single spoiler? I mean, I know millions of people have seen this movie, but at the same time, there's that teeny little bit that hasn't. So, how am I going to approach this? Well, I've been thinking. How about, instead of talking about the film, I just use this little handy dandy nifty dipty wibbly wobbly timey wimey time machine? That's the main thing about the film, it's a time travel plot. Going back to the films where they included an Infinity Stone. Because if they can time travel, then why don't I try? Now, in that case, LNZ? This past weekend, I just watched someone coming into my channel as a collab, even though I have no idea who he is. What are you doing here? Oh, you must be from my disembodied head days. Hi, uh, which review is this? I was trying to watch Incredibles 2. And who are you? I'm you. What? Yeah, just give it a few more months and you'll have a full body. So you're saying that this style of how I do my reviews is going to stick around for a while? You can say that, yes. So, uh, which movie are you on right now? I'm watching Avengers Endgame. Well, I already saw Infinity War, so how does Endgame go? I can't tell you that. Why not? Spoilers. When has that stopped anyone? Well, I'm you, so it's kind of stopping me from reviewing a really great superhero movie. But at least I can say that it's like a three hour long film filled with the most excitement, drama of any other Marvel movie. Okay, now you gotta tell me what's gonna happen. Can't. I gotta go. But wait! <laughs> Few months, he said. But wait, who's the artist? Don't! <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Holy... No! Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I hate those Stardust days. But, at least things can't get any worse. Never again. Ugh. I really need to work on a new channel introduction. But at least things are better now that I'm back in the present. And... Hey, wait a minute. I think I've just realized something. The Marvel movies have been around for over a decade now. And all that time, they've built up stories, characters, and everything we've come to love after all this time. And it all comes together one three-hour thrill ride that everyone should enjoy. And after what we just witnessed, I find that after all my time reviewing and everything I've done, every style I tried to use in my reviews, I've finally found the one I really like, and it's this one. I'm more than happy to be continuing doing these reviews as Marvel continues to make movies. So I say Avengers Endgame is an absolute must-watch for summer. And it's just a brilliant, brilliant film. Better than Infinity War, actually. So, thanks to the time machine, and to all of you, this is Sudoku Brian saying, I love you 3000.